tell us about uh, what Oracle is doing with utilities in, in Asia? Sure. Yeah. So we've uh, basically uh, introduced a whole uh, uh, plan around bringing our applications together to support uh, the smart grid. And uh, so we have a, a large suite of applications, uh, including uh, advanced distribution management systems, meter data management, customer care and billing, uh, mobile workforce management, asset management, and we're able to leverage these components across our applications in order to provide more advanced solutions. Uh, so in the network management system, for example, we can uh, bring in uh, the metering data uh, in order to identify where the loading constraints might be back in your in your grid or uh, how to provide more reliable uh, operations. Um, so that's good enough. Australia's most advanced utilities. Can you tell us about some of your customers there and some interesting Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, so, yeah, one of our uh, uh, most advanced customers would be Gemina, where they are taking advantage of this uh, automated fault isolation and service restoration capability that we have within our uh, network management system, this advanced uh, distribution management function that I was uh, speaking about. Um, there's, there's some others that are... Uh, um, have the customer care and billing, of course, uh, a as well as the um, uh, work and asset management, mobile workforce management to optimize the field, field uh, force. We've seen some uh, case studies where uh, payback on, on these mobile workforce management systems are uh, as, as soon as a year, 18 months payback, uh, just in, in crew efficiency. Uh, and, there, and thereby leveraging that, that same infrastructure for improving their, uh, their whole uh, data quality of their, of their system, the network management aspect of it, improving that network model by uh, building that into the, the uh, workflows of, of like when you go and do maintenance, you're also improving the data, uh, making sure everything is accurate before you move on to the next job. And that's always been a challenge with utilities is this data management aspect. And so we build that, uh, those workflows into the day-to-day -day streams of these uh, mobile workforce management uh, component. Any interesting case studies or vignettes from the utilities that you're dealing with? Yeah, sure, sure. So certainly uh, a lot of activity in, uh, in North America right now with Smart Grid and some of our uh, customers on the, in the West uh, we have a large uh, utility in California that we're doing a, a microgrid initiative where uh, we have uh, taken the uh, uh, advanced distribution management systems as well as uh, uh, interaction with demand response uh, and um, controlling a small area for uh, islanded operations. If you lose the source, we can continue to operate uh, the small area. Um, and then when, uh, the, when the source is re restored, we can return the system back to normal. And then as well as optimize the uh, system for um, voltage or, uh, or uh, reliability and those kind of things. So we're operating kind of a, a smaller area, what we call a microgrid. So we're real excited about the opportunities of developing a microgrid, uh, not, not only in, in North America, but throughout the world. And we think there's some key opportunities uh, here in Asia for microgrid development uh, where the uh, uh, infrastructure may not be there, but there's plenty of um, renewable resources, for example, where you can use it for uh, electrifying villages and those kind of things. So we're looking at opportunities for that as well. Great, thank you very much. All right, thank you.